Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Friday. Let me just adjust things really quickly. Hope you guys have had a great week. It is April 1st. I have no April Fool's Day's jokes for you today. I'm not the jokester kind. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, but if you are, I hope you're having a fun day. Hope that nobody plays any nasty tricks on you today. Um, something I keep looking this way because usually my camera is over here and for some reason it's over here this time so I have to look that way <laughs> oh goodness hello good I'm glad to see you guys all right let me um pull this up right before I went live I took a drink of Diet Coke and I spilled it down the front of me so I wanted to make sure that you guys <laughs> couldn't see below about right here so all is good hopefully when um when you go live on Facebook, they give you this little teeny tiny little like preview screen. It's weird. Um and I'm still looking at the wrong place. Um and then when you go live, it gets real big and it takes in more of the area. So you just never know what's going to be in the screen. Hi everybody. All right, good. So this week it's best delivery. Um, this is a really cute stamp set from our current spring catalog, otherwise known as January to June 2022 Stampin' Up! Mini Catalog. Way too many words. I call it the spring catalog. Um, it's really cute and hopefully you guys like it. Um, I have spent the day putting in my pre-order and if you didn't know, we have a new big catalog coming out. I'm going to show you it. It looks like this. I got mine. It's beautiful. Um, and it's beautiful inside. I love it. I can't, I can only show you the front. I can't show you the inside, but if you requested a catalog from me, um, as of yesterday morning, I ordered you a catalog to be shipped straight from Stampin' Up. If you did not request a catalog and you still would like one, I ordered some to come here to my house so I could mail them out myself. Please just send me an email. Um, it's beautiful. It's fabulous. When you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you get to do what we call pre-order. So a month before the catalog goes live, which this catalog goes live May 3rd. I keep forgetting, is it the 2nd or the 3rd? It's the 3rd. Um, when you're a demonstrator, you get the whole month ahead of time to pre-order. And when it's a mini catalog, like our spring catalog, we can order pretty much anything from the catalog. But when it's a big catalog like this, they only give us a selection of things to choose from. So um, I ordered In Colors, all the new In Color products. Uh, for those of you that have seen the catalog and who know what's on the pre-order or even just know what's in the catalog, I ordered the Tea Boutique Suite, I think is what it's called. Um, I ordered a lot of stuff. So next week, hopefully I'll have some stuff to show you. I can show you one thing that I have from this catalog. Um, we have an event called On Tour, which is like an online little mini convention next week. And we all, if you registered, you got a free stamp set from the catalog. And, and I got this one. It's backwards. It's called Limited Edition. And it's like our statement or our uh, copyright stamp where you can stamp, you know, on the back of the of the catalog um it's really cute lots of different things that you can stamp on the angel policy that's what it's called you're supposed to stamp your cards with the back on the back with the stampin up copyright so people know what products you used um but anyway this is a brand new stamp set that we can now use to do that so i got that one um there are there were several options the other thing i was going to tell you is that if you are anxious and you want to order from this catalog right now, the only way you can do that is to be a demonstrator. So if you buy the starter kit starting now, in your starter kit, you can actually choose from the pre-order items. So not everything, obviously, in the new catalog is on the pre-order. Um, there's quite a collection of things on there. Um, but if you look, if you go and start the process for the starter kit, you'll see the things that you could choose from. So, and yes, we get our demonstrator discount off our pre-order. The starter kit deal is still the deal that it always is. $99, you pick out $125 product. So just a little nugget of information for those of you who are dying to order from the new catalog. 
Okay, oh, let me show you a couple of cards that I got last week. This is from Macon. Look how cute. This is one of those slimline cards. We have these dies for this, and I haven't used them yet. I need to do that. <laughs> I uh, have them. They're a little bit pricey. They're an investment. And so I want to make sure that I get them used. But look how beautiful that is. Also, the stitched flower dies um, she used. That's not what they're called. They're called something else, but that's what I call them. What are they called? Can't remember. But anyways, isn't that beautiful? Um, speaking of those dies, whatever they're called, you guys, I went through just right before we um, went live. Well, I'll tell you in a minute. A lot of the things on the last chance list have already sold out. It's insane. So those those flowers, I was thinking because the stamp set that goes with those is sold out. I don't think the dies are sold out, but the stamp set is, which is just weird. Anyway, Megan, thank you. I love it. Of course, it's my colors. This one is from, oh, this is from Maddie. She's my Mary Kay lady. And she, if you don't know, she's Rhonda Wade's daughter-in-law. Um, she's also, I believe she's a hobby demonstrator, but she made that cute little card for me. Maddie, if you're watching, thank you. I love it. Um, I loved that stamp set so much. I wish we still had it. That was last year. Oh, and then this one I was going to tell you guys about last week. I got the uh, most amazing bag from Joyce. I showed Pierce Blooms. That's what those flowers are called. Thank you, Ashley. Um, I got the most amazing bag. I showed you guys right in the middle of Facebook Friday last week. This huge, um, Buffalo check bag. It's a huge bag. And uh, it came, Joyce just sent me a package. And Joyce, what's funny about it is that when it came, my mail lady, I met her outside. I don't know why I was out there. And she said, is it your birthday? And I was like, no. And she said, look at this package. I thought maybe it was your birthday. She was impressed with your little return label. But anyways, it felt like my birthday. She also sent me this cute little card. This looks like maybe um, Cricut, maybe. I don't know, but it is so stinking cute. We need a stamp like that with the truck and the eggs in the back and the little black and white. Anyway, Joyce, I don't have the bag because we used it last week for the lake and it's already in the kitchen waiting to go to the lake tomorrow. It is a perfect lake bag. So thank you, Joyce. I absolutely love it. And then I have one more. This one is gorgeous from Karen. Look at this. Karen, that is a great way to use that Horizons Designer Series paper. Look. Boop. What is the stripes for the for the sale did you draw or did you use your marker to do that that's beautiful or maybe that's from those card bases i don't know but that's really pretty and that's that horizons paper i'm not gonna lie i'm i have had a hard time using the horizon paper but that is brilliant right there so thank you karen i love it okay now let's see what do i want do i want to switch over um let me just tell you, well, I will switch over. Let me think of what I have. I will switch over because I want to show you some things. Um, the, so the annual catalog. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys over. I keep telling you, oh, look, I put my thumb on the wrong side. Where, Where is it? Right here. What a weird thing I have done. I've done everything backwards. Um, I keep telling you guys, I'm going to try that stream yard, and we're going to try doing YouTube Live. I just... I've got to find some extra hours in the day to figure all that out. I wish there was like a tech person you could hire that you say, okay, I'm going to pay you to come and set all it up and teach me how to do it. <laughs> I wish there was somebody like that. If there is somebody like that, please let me know. Because ugh, technology, I don't hate technology. I just hate the time investment that it takes, you know. Hold on, I'm trying to clean up my mess here. Okay, let's talk about the annual catalog. This is the current annual catalog, you guys, that has the last chance list, which last chance, otherwise known as a retirement list. Um, there was a lot of things in here that are retiring. And I go through and I write a red R um, next to it when it's retiring. So then today I went through and I drew an X next to all the things that are already sold out. And holy cow. So it's all stamp sets or bundles that include stamp sets. I'm like, what is happening? That we've never run out of stamp sets this fast before. So if you have things marked in your catalog that you want, you need to you need to hurry. I mean, usually I say that and then nothing sells out, but holy cow, this year. So many things are gone. Um, 
that we used to have a policy during the last chance list that Stampin' Up! said, because we make stamps in-house. So they would say, okay, we're going to guarantee all the stamp sets through the third week of April. Well, they're not doing that anymore, <laughs> which is which is stressful on my end. I mean, I'm trying to plan for April and, you know, this stamp set, Denise and I have just talked about the stamp set today, uh, Sharing Sunshine. I'm about to get to it. I pulled it out to use it for a Facebook Friday. Not along with something else and I used it and then I thought you know I better look to see if that's still available and sure enough it's already sold out so if you're a visual person like me there it is sharing sunshine um you know I, I guess there's nowhere on the customer side to see what's sold out it's not as long as as soon as it sells out they remove it so if you search for something on the Stampin' Up! store and it doesn't come up that means it's sold out so anyway, just FYI, that's happening. So all of it was stamp sets except for three of the in color ink refills. Let me tell you what they are. Just Jade, Bumblebee, and Magenta Madness. That's not right because Misty Moonlight is sold out. Okay, well I made a mistake there because I know Misty Moonlight is sold out unless they suddenly got more of it, more of them. Um, but those, those <laughs> ink refills are always the first ones to go. All right, so anyway, just a little PSA that you need to get it. Another thing that is sold out is the Waves of the Ocean paper, foil, and rhinestones. I knew, I had no doubt that that was going to sell out because it's so gorgeous. Um, so those are gone. They were while supplies last, they're gone. This bundle right here is still available. Um, it's actually in the new catalog. Okay. Savings in Bloom is over. I'm going to throw that away. We don't need that anymore. All Together is still available. I ordered a, I, ooh, I ordered a bunch of that paper this morning for Club Create. Um, and these markers will be in the new catalog, um, but they are on back order, which means they're unorderable. Some of them are unorderable right now. So, yeah, I mean, woo, yeah, and Leah... Everybody that signed up for my Seize the Day class, I have enough paper for everybody. So don't you worry. Yeah, it, I'm glad. I started to panic a little bit about the um, All Together paper for Club Create because it wasn't, you know, we have an inventory status report. Um, and these things that are out of publication don't always show up as low inventory. They just immediately go to unorderable, sold out. And so I was a little bit panicked because as you can see for Club Create, we are using the All Together Designer Series paper. Is it All Together or Here Together? I can never remember. It's a black and white paper. Club Create, there's just a few days left to sign up for Club Create. If that paper does sell out in the next few days, I'm going to turn off um, Club Create subscriptions because then I won't be able to get it. Um, so Club Create subscription is $39 a month. You get $20, about $20 in product, five projects, five make and takes, um, a video and a PDF, and it includes shipping. And then you can add on the bundle or adhesive or anything else needed. Um, and I pay the extra tax and shipping on those for you. Um, next, Club Create, I've gotten lots of emails asking me what I'm going to use. I don't know. Um, I hate to commit to something when I haven't seen it in real life, when I haven't actually started to play with it. But my tentative plan, I think, for Club Create in um, May will be that tea boutique from the new catalog. I wish I could show you guys. I'll have it next week. And hopefully by next Friday, I'll have the projects designed and we'll have a firm. This is what it is. And the PDF will already be available. Okay? So if you're wanting to subscribe to Club Create... There is a Club Create tab at the top of my blog. Um, the PDF is also available in my PDF store if you just want the PDF. All right, so then I have two classes for April. <laughs> Again, stressful when things are on the last chance list. These dies, it's actually not the dies, it's the stamp set has sold out. So option one that includes the bundle is no longer available. Okay, so you have to have it um, unless you can find it on eBay or friend or whatever, but it's no longer available. If you registered for option one last weekend, I have enough bundles for you. 
So don't worry, I was able to order them before they were sold out um, for everybody who had registered. Um, otherwise, option two is still available. You can still add on the special moments stamp set for free. It includes six projects, all featuring the birds and branches bundle. You're gonna get opal rounds, you're gonna get two quarter packs designer series paper, and a yard and a half of the ribbon. Okay, so that is still available. Registration is open. I have till April 25th. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> it feels really far away. Um, maybe if I can get them done earlier, I might close that earlier, but I'll let you guys know. Um, I wanted to give you lots of time, but now that things are just selling out. It's, I don't know. Um, I guess nothing else on here is potential to sell out because these are, these are spring catalog. This is, I think this is carrying over. So anyway. That is um, class one. Class two is the summer, uh, shaded summer class. And the dyes, I had a bunch of these from last celebration. They were free during celebration, so I collected a bunch of them. And option one included the dyes for free. Um, as of yesterday, at, well, as of March 30th, they, the dyes, all of my dyes are spoken for. So now option one will not include the dyes. I've put that clearly on the registration page. If you registered for the dyes, um, you're good. I turned it off as soon as we hit the last one. So um, right now option one will not include the dyes. However, the dies are available in the new catalog. So if you didn't get the dies last year and you still want them, you'll be able to order them May 3rd. Um, so this class, option one with the stamp set, option two without the stamp set. You're gonna get a half a pack of this paper, which is also retiring. Um, again, if it sells out, I'll have to turn um, registration off. I'm, I'm ordering almost uh, every day. I have things I order for not every day, maybe every twice or three times a week for things. So I'm constantly adding like, okay, let me see how many more I need to add. Um, and I'm watching it carefully. You can also add on the really cute, pretty flowers embossing folder. But anyway, six cards. Both of these have PDF only option in my PDF store if you want it. But I just wanted you to know that the dies are gone. The free dies are gone. Um, that option is gone, but you can always get them on May 3rd if you want them, okay? Okay, clear as mud, <laughs> as I like to say. Oh, things are crazy. You know, sometimes I'm like, okay, in April, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take April off because I don't know how to function with this constant, you know, like limbo. I feel like we're in, <laughs> in limbo. Um, waiting for the new catalog, having new catalog products, but not really being able to use them. Things are off, I guess, because my camera is on the right side today instead of the left side. Everything just looks wrong. Um, but I'm not going to take April off. I'm not going to. We still have the spring catalog. I have lots of things to show you from the spring catalog, um, including what we're doing today. Then next week is the home and garden bundle, which you guys asked for, the ladder, the little ladder. After that, I think it's going to be the, um, oh, I can't remember, the set with the monkeys, the little monkeys and the little um, quails and the cat, whatever that's called. But um, I can't remember, suddenly it's gone out my brain. Anyhow, um, new the new All Star Tutorial Bundle dropped this morning. Um, this month, it's all about the New Horizons bundle. And I will tell you that this it, this was a challenge for me. I have all these products um, and I have kind of danced around them <laughs> since January because I, they, I am a little intimidated because it's not my style. But I had so much fun designing this month's project. It's a shaker that has sand in it. Um, so in, if you haven't seen the all-star all tutorial bundle before, it's 12 designers. Do we still have a picture at the front? No, we don't. 12 dis different designers from United States, um, Europe, and South Pacific. Um, we each design one tutorial each month using the same products, and we film a video, and then we put them all in this PDF. The PDF has the measurements in both metric and imperial, has a full supply list, and has the links to the videos. You can get this for free if you spend $50 or more with me this month. 
Um, I mail them, email them about once a week and you get it for, you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. Um, what else? Oh, if you're a subscriber, I emailed them out this morning at 830. So if you didn't get it, shoot me an email. Um, subscriptions are only open in the very first month. So, um, but if you're a subscriber, I sent it out. And then of course my team, they get it for free. So anyway, that's this month. We have a blog hop next week. So you can go through and see everybody's projects. We all come up with like a second project too for you. So catch you later. That's what it's called. I knew it had the word catch in it, but I couldn't remember. I was thinking best catch. <laughs> I don't know because of this one probably. All right, door prizes. This week I picked door prize winners from YouTube. Thank you, all of you watching me on YouTube. And I, I have heard those of you who want me to do YouTube live. Um, I heard you loud and clear and I have it on my agenda in the next year. <laughs> no, I mean, sooner rather than later. I'm gonna make that switch, but I'm not ready yet. Anyways, Darlene May and Cheryl Rusma, I believe I have both your mailing addresses. Um, if I, if I don't, or if you've moved, please email me. I will, um, probably mail these out on Monday or Tuesday. Um, uh, thank you for sharing my video. I appreciate that. Um, if you would like to win this week's prize, it's the Waves of Inspiration Bundle. That's the one that I was just showing you. All the other stuff is sold out except for the bundle. The bundle will be in the new catalog. I'd like to give this away to one lucky stamper next week. So, um, share my video either on Facebook or YouTube, put in the comments that you shared and I will pick a winner. All right. All right. All right. I'm looking at all the comments that disappeared. This is another reason why I want to make the switch over to YouTube because I have to touch this every time to get comments to pop up. All right. So if you have never joined me for Facebook live before Facebook Friday, I pick one product and do three projects. Um, like I said, at the beginning this week, we're doing best delivery. Um, we're going to do a card, a fun fold and a box. And I don't know if Brandy's here. I use, okay. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. <laughs> My mojo is super low. I have been having a really hard time creating. This always happens when there's a new catalog getting ready to come out. It's like my brain shuts down um, and I can't, like everything just, like I'm uninspired. So this week and next week, I have used a lot of inspiration. I don't case people straight case, but I use pieces of things I see. Um, today I'm casing a fun fold that uh, Chris sent me. Chris, if you're watching, um, you'll see it. And then the little... Um, the little box that I'm making today was inspired by a box that Brandy made back in maybe January, February with the little van from driving by. So sometimes a girl just needs some help and I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully I give you guys that help sometimes and sometimes I turn right back around and try to find help <laughs> out there too. It just, this week has been really, really hard. It's like, I am like at the bottom of the barrel I need I need some mojo. But anyway, I like what we're doing today. I think you guys will too, but um, you might recognize a few things that I that I have pulled in. Um, also, the three things I talked about, the two classes in Club Create, the info is on this PDF. This has a, has a blog post gone up, guys. Um, I scheduled it last night. I'm so far ahead because I'm not creating that I had that blog post typed and scheduled like yesterday midday, which never happened. So hopefully it went up. It's under the last photo. There's a, a button there you can click and it'll give you this free, hopefully. Um, let's see, Christine, if we're set up for PayPal Automatic Club Create, we are good. Yes, uh-huh, for the one. Yes, Christine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one, if you're charged on the 14th, then you were charged on March 14th for, and that goes for um, um, the Cactus Club. My club period is really weird. It goes from... Um, the 8th of the month previous, so March 8th through April 7th. All of those build in between that time, get April kit, right? I should have, when I started this a thousand months ago, it feels like, I should have done like the 1st or the, the end of the 30th or whatever, but I didn't, I didn't do that. Anyways, yes, you're good. Um, if you're ever worried about it, just email me and I'll check. Um, so these projects that we're going to make today, I will send them for free with a minimum $35 order um, using this host code between now and Monday at midnight. Um, I send them for free. They look like this. 
you need the stamps, you'll need the embossing folder, and of course, ink and um, stamp and blends adhesive. But I send you everything else. There's no dies in today's set, so I will have everything that you need die cut. Um, what you see here at the front is a thank you tag. I don't do any pre-stamping, um, but they come like this, and uh, they come for free. I cut these on Tuesday and mail them on Wednesdays. This week's went out a day late because I was waiting for cardstock. They went out on Thursday, um, but I don't drag my feet on those. You will hopefully get them within that next week. Um, okay. Oh, the other caveat I always want to say that if you put it in order and it's over $150, don't use the host code. When you don't use the host code, you earn stamp and rewards, um, which you can find info on the back in the back of your catalog about, which is free stuff. And I want you to earn that free stuff. Um, if you're orders below $150, I ask that you use that host code. That's an indication to me that you want the projects. If I get your order and there's no host code, I just assume you don't want the projects. If you forget the host code, just email me. I can fix it. I can call Stampin' Up. They can apply the host code. No problem. Um, but anyway, if your order's over $150, I will still send you, even if you don't use that host code, I will still send you the projects for free. And you can order anything you want, guys. You, it doesn't have to be the products that I'm showing because you might already have them. Um, you can order things on the last chance list. You can order, um, I don't I don't know, whatever you want. Uh, you know what? Have you guys looked at the clearance rack lately? There's not a lot of um, stuff on it, but what's on it is that cactus refill kit. I don't know if you remember from last year, the flowering cactus. I did a class with that kit. And the refill kits are um, on there for like $15. And I ordered some of them because I'm getting ready to have a big leftover class kit sale in April. I'm going to sell extra Facebook Friday pro um, packets and extra class kits. I know you guys asked me about this and I only do it about once a year. I have somebody actually setting up a store on my blog right now um, so that I don't have... Anyway, it's a it's an ordeal to to do that the other way I was doing it. So now he's going to set the store up on my blog, and hopefully towards the end of the month I will have all my extra class kits listed as well as Facebook Friday kits. I will let you know when that happens. I'll give you plenty of heads up. Okay, okay. I think I have said enough. Oh my gosh, it's already. I've talked for thirty minutes, you guys. Why didn't you tell me? We're definitely going late today. How, I didn't even have that much to talk about. How does that happen? All right, well, let's get started. Today, if you're not a fussy cutting fan, I'm just going to apologize right up front. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. There, uh, there, is, there are some solutions for fussy cutting. There's a machine that I won't mention, but, but it does sometimes help um, with cutting things out. It's not a machine that we sell, so that's why I'm not going to mention it. But I will tell you also that I have that machine. And I can only get it to work about 50% of the time, <laughs> which I guess is better than 0% of the time. But if you don't like to fussy cut, just putting it out there. Um, anyhow, this truck is easy to fussy cut, okay? I think you can do it. So, so give yourself a chance. And if you don't like fussy cutting, also just leave it on a rectangle piece of cardstock, all right? Okay, so this card, where am I starting? This card uses... This paper. Um, this is probably the only paper I'm not tired of in the annual catalog. <laughs> I get tired of everything about this time of year. It's all dead to me. I don't, you know, I'm like, okay, I've used it all. I don't want to see it. But this paper I love. Um, this is the uh, Pattern Party Designer Series paper. And it is free when you spend over $150. Well, it's one, okay, let me, let me take that back. It's one of the host exclusive items you can get. So when you spend over $150, you get Stamper Awards. Um, so let's say you spend $150, you're going to earn um, $15. Is that right? $15 in Stamper Awards. Well, then you can buy anything with those Stamper Awards you want. Or you can also choose from those host exclusive items that are in the back of your catalog. Well, that's where this paper is from. And it's $18. So if you only had $15 of host rewards, you can pay the difference. You guys know what I'm saying? You, you know, the $15 stamp rewards goes towards the paper and then they would add $3 to your 
total. So anyway, that's where this paper is from. It's still available. Um, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. There is new host paper in the new catalog too. Um, okay, so we're stamping it on basic white. And then we're going to just stamp it on um, a piece of that pattern party designer series paper. But we only need the box part, the back of the truck. So I'm not going to worry about the rest of it. Um, I felt like I had, oh, I know, I needed to mention this. This is just a piece of foam, a foam piercing mat that I have. If your photopolymer stamps don't stamp well on whatever surface it is that you're working on, get um, your piercing mat or your, there's um, a foam mat in your stamparatus, or you can use even, like, you know, at Hobby Lobby, they have that craft foam. I think it's called fun foam. So the last time I looked, it was like 25 cents. Now it's probably like 75 cents, but it's still really cheap. That will work too. Um, I, I know I've mentioned I don't have that problem where I stamp normally only on this table. Oh, somebody's here. Okay, so I'm taking my, sorry, I usually close my blinds so I can't see what's going on. Um, I'm using my paper snips to cut out just this box part, right? I don't know, he's delivering something in a cute little pink box. What is happening? Oh, he's going to ring the doorbell, you guys. I might have to go answer the door. It looks like a delivery, like a cookie delivery or something. Okay, he rang the doorbell. Is he going to leave it? Should I go check it, you guys? He's not leaving. All right, you guys. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, guys. Okay, so Terry, <laughs> Terry, you're, oh my gosh, have you guys had crumble cookies? So this is from Terry um, B, and she is a long distance customer, and I screwed up her Club Create kit, sent it to the wrong address, and it's been like a three ring circus this week. Um, and she's being so sweet. Terry, you should not have sent these to me, but oh my gosh. You guys, have you had crumble cookie? So these are sugar-free, right, Terry? <laughs> wow, thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so funny that it came during Facebook Live. That was too sweet and uncalled for because that was my fault, Terry. You should not have done that, but boy, thank you. That was very sweet. Oh, I can smell them, you guys. If you haven't had crumble cookie, I'm using pool party. I'm gonna tell you this while I color because we're gonna be so late today. If you haven't had crumble cookie, only try it when you're not on a diet because if you're like me, you can't stop. The cookies are like the size of like a dinner plate. You saw them and they're amazing. Um, they're a national chain. I actually had them sent one day. I took the dogs to the groomer and I went to pick them up. And when you take three schnauzers anywhere, it is like awful. I mean, awful. I'm always almost like in tears by the time I go back in the car because they're all running around. And, well, I, um, my car wouldn't start. I got them into the car and it was hot and the car wouldn't start. And I went back in and I was all upset and they came out and they jumped my car and they took the dog. Anyway, I sent them crumble cookies. So crumble is a great thing to send somebody when you want to show your appreciation. I feel like crying, Terry. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. That's so funny. She, um, this is Smoky Slate. So I am just going to leave that window white. I sent her Club Create kit to her old address. And then it was my fault. But then the post office found it in like a random locker somewhere. And she got it. And I had already sent the replacement, tried to cancel it. It was just... It was a circus, so that's what she said on the, the the note. Sorry for the circus. So funny. Oh, my gosh. My kids are going to be so happy. Um, this week was my middle child's birthday, and uh, I asked her. I usually make a cake for them, or I will buy a cake for them if they want. And she requested a cookie cake. Now, have you guys had a cookie cake? 
Now, I remember cookie cakes like when, from when we were in high school. The cookie cake place was in the mall. And like Friday football games for spirit gifts, people would bring little cookie cakes or give it to somebody for their birthday. Like cookie cakes are amazing. Um, and that's what she wanted. So I had to go pick that up this week and drive home with it on the front seat of my car. And it was warm and it smelled like chocolate chip heaven. Oh, so good. All right, so hopefully you guys have seen what I'm doing <laughs> because I'm not telling you hardly anything. Um, so I cut that up, fussy cut that. We're gonna emboss this on the mini. How many of you bought the mini that was on sale in March? The mini cut and emboss machine. It's so cute and I think I've fallen in love with it all over again since I've been using it so much in March. Um, it's just wonderful. This is one of our um, embossing folders that's specific. I'm using the wrong plate, hold on. This is the embossing folder that is specifically, did I take that plate out? It had the other plate in it. This is, what am I trying to say? I'm so distracted by those cookies. Well, darn it, the embossing thing is missing. Is this the kind of day we're gonna have, you guys? Did I put it in here? I feel like this is the kind of day we're gonna have. So if you don't like chaos, you might wanna sign off. <laughs> what the heck? Darn it. I had that plate out. Is it right here? I feel like, somebody look, is it here? It's not. Okay, well, we're not gonna emboss. Well. It's this plate and the white plate that you need and the white plate, I don't know. Oh well, it saves us a time, little time, I guess. Although I spent more time looking for it. The checks, the embossing folder is so cute. You can see it right here. It's the checks and dots. And I thought that was really cute for the truck, but oh well, so much for that. Um, the other thing we need to do, and I can use those plates for this, this is the Supple Shimmer cardstock, cardstock specialty paper. It's in the spring catalog. In the back, you'll see it. It says Supple Shimmer, right? And it looks blue. So I don't know how it looks to you guys on camera, but if I turn it that way, it totally looks blue. But then if I turn it this way, to me, it looks white. So it just depends on the light. It's kind of more white. You know how like maybe an icicle can look blue in the, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's mostly, I don't know if I can say it's more blue or more white, but it's awesome. Anyway, you need to cut one and a half of these. I saved this one from my clean recording and uh, we're gonna adhere these to the back of this. And I'm gonna start right there. And I'm just gonna, I want them just peeking out, just barely. Terry, you're there, I'm so glad. <laughs> How funny, did you time that, Terry? That is so funny. I think you, you were like, okay, I want these delivered during Facebook Friday so everybody can start craving crumble cookies. Well, you just totally made my day and my weekend because yum. Yum, yum, yum. Um, the sentiment, you guys, we're gonna, it has two lines on it, but we're gonna do kind of a split. And I need to make sure it's clean. Now you can use your, your masking tape to mask off, but you know, when you have a photopolymer stamp, you can kind of see on the edge of your ink pad, make sure I didn't get any of it, yep. And then just, you know, ink the part that you want, right on the edge. Sending lots of love. Now we're gonna do the opposite. <laughs> I promise I were to lay another circus. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, sometimes the circus ends up being awesome. All right, now today and each day after, I'm gonna stamp it kind of low to the bottom of this strip and I got a little bit of specs there, I should have paid closer attention, but that's okay. I can cover those up with the wheel of our truck. Um, now this punch is the Banner's Pick a Punch, and it has the banner end, which we're gonna do right here. See that? 
And then this end is like the pointy, the pointy end, like that. So it's kind of like an arrow. All right. So now we'll bring over our sad piece of Poppy Parade that isn't embossed. I'm going to find that plate as soon as I'm done. You know, guys, that's how it happens. Um, we're going to find dimensionals. Um, let's start with this part right here, the little arrow, and I'm going to put it kind of diagonal and then we will put our little truck right here. Mm, I'm not covering up the dots. Should I do it like that? Oh, well, no, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it like that and then I have a flirty flamingo heart that was cut with can you guess my favorite dies the give it a whirl dies and I stamped this on a stitched rectangle basic white which is of course from our stitched rectangle dies um let's put that on here gosh it looks so boring without the embossing boo I could have used my big cut and emboss machine but I have to dig out that plate too and who knows where it is and oh well, it's probably, I bet it's probably on another tray. When I pull it over here, we're gonna find it. All right, so you wanna put this over a little bit towards the right so that those circles can be seen. And last but not least, the twine. Hey, speaking of twine, in the new catalog, there is a set of Baker's twine like this with all the new in colors. Yes, you know how I love my twine. And if you have been a member of my, whoops, these scissors are terrible. I need to get them sharpened. Um, if you were a member of my In Color Club last year or years past, uh, yes, I will be having an In Color Club again. Details will be coming out probably late next week, maybe. So be on the lookout for that. Club, um, in Color Club is different from Club Create. It um, is five months, and every month you get all the products in one of the new in colors. So then by the end of the five months, you have all the new in, in colors and all the things that coordinate with it. So be on the lookout for that. Anyhow, we're done. Cute card, right? I think this is, uh, this looks like a birthday card to me, even though it doesn't say happy birthday. I think it looks like a birthday card. All right, now I barely can remember making that card because all I can think about are the cookies. Cookie overload, yum. Okay, let's move this out of the way and we're gonna make the next one, which is the one I cased from Chris. Is Chris here today? Um, I don't know if she watches live or if she watches the recording, but let me show you her card first. I've showed you guys this card. She just recently sent this to me. And I love it. I hadn't seen this fancy, this fun fold. Do you call it a fancy fold or a fun fold, you guys? I call it both. I hadn't seen this before and I loved it. So we're gonna make that today, but mine, instead of opening that way, is gonna open this way. All right, so there it is and there it is. Okay, ta-da. So Chris, thank you. I love when you guys send me cards and I get new ideas. So fun. Okay, let's see. Do I have everything we need? We are using Flirty Flamingo. And, of course, the pieces I need first are on the bottom. I always do that. You're going to need... This card takes almost a full sheet of cardstock. Um, and the measurements and... The, oh, no. Did you guys hear that? I just knocked off my little scoring things which are like gold because Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore. And I only have five left. I just knocked them down on the floor somewhere. I gotta find them. Um, the measurements are all right here, okay? It's not complicated. You're just gonna need to cut the pieces to the right size. So this is a regular card base, four and a fourth by 11. And we're gonna score it at two, three and three fourths, seven and a fourth. Oh, of course, now UPS is here. <laughs> nine. Oh my goodness. It's crazy town around here. 
Um, okay, so that's those are the only score lines you need. And it folds in like this. What do we call this? A gate, double gate fold or something? Uh, I know it has a name, but I can't remember. All right, now I have to remember, I have to keep I had to keep looking at mine yesterday during my other recording to make sure I got it right. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is adhere this DSP. Okay, and this is just Flirty Flamingo DSP from the Bright Stack, about a one inch strip. This piece is four and a fourth by five and a half. So like, you know, the size of a, you know, a closed card. So you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna take this and adhere it right there in the center of that. And I'm gonna try to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. I have, we broke up, Sam and Seal Plus and I, we broke up, but we're working it out and we've been, we've been working nicely this week. <laughs> um, I'm going to center that. If you're worried about getting it centered, use your grid paper. That will help you get it centered, okay? All right, so that's like that. Now you've got two other pieces of DSP and this is from that um, All Together DSP that I was talking about online only. That black and white paper and I'm gonna put one of them right here like this but you think you're gonna put the other one right here but you're not okay you're gonna this piece is four by uh, four and a fourth so make sure you turn it you want it to be the same width if you do it this way then it's not right it needs to be the same width as the card Okay, so we're gonna put that piece of DSP on the left side of this one. Don't worry, it's gonna make sense. Now, come over here and you close this. Oh, see, that's why Stampin' or uh, Stampin' Seal Plus and I, it tears my cardstock. Some people have that problem with the Stampin' Seal and for me, I don't know, it's something about my flick of the wrist. I know, you don't have to tell me. All right. So close it and line this edge right here up with the edge over here. Not this edge, this edge. Okay, like that. Now, see, now it still looks weird. Don't worry, we're gonna make it right. Okay, so there's the base of our card. Um, we also have a piece of white that's gonna go right there. Ugh, we're broken up again. <laughs> There's a different pressure you have to use with the Stampin' Seal Plus, and I cannot master it. I can't, especially on camera. All right, so now, here we go. That's that. Now, you have this other piece of white, all right? And I, um, I think I'm going to use, let me think. No, I'm going to use a Stamparatus in the next project, so we'll just use this one here. We're going to use that same truck. We're going to stamp this a couple of times or four. <laughs> okay. Four times. Um, I've got a piece of basic white. I've got a piece of flirty flamingo, another little piece of basic white. And this paper is from the tulip. Um, it's called flower flowering fields, flowering fields. I don't know why my mouth can't say that. Um, DSP, that beautiful tulip paper in the spring catalog. All right, now stamp him over towards the right side of this piece, okay? Because we want to leave room for those little hearts. Um, <laughs> Brandy, light pressure or hard pressure or flick, no flick. I don't know. I can't keep it straight. I haven't used Stamp and Seal Plus in like a year. And this week I'm like, okay, all right. Let's try again, buddy. And you know what? That's the first time it's torn my paper all week. First time. Now we're gonna stamp it again. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, right here. Uh, we're gonna stamp the box part on the DSP, the little polka dot DSP, okay? Now this time, we're gonna stamp the cab. This is called paper piecing. When you stamp the image multiple times on different either patterns or colors of paper. Oh, I can already tell this is not inked right. Um, oh, look at that. Well, I'm just making a mess. Where did that come from? Um, 
make sure I stamp that right in the middle. When you stamp the image on multiple colors or multiple patterns, you know, I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna get another piece. I don't like that. Uh, paper is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's try this one. Let's clean it again. I need to clean my fingers is what I need to clean. This stamp um, works really well in the Stamparatus. I probably should have just used it from the beginning in the Stamparatus. I'm not sure why I didn't. All right, here we go. Let's try again. When you have a big stamp, sometimes just the handling of it is difficult, especially if you have arthritis or, you know, some kind of hand issues. There we go. Third time's a charm. All right, so that we've stamped it there. We've stamped it on the white and we've stamped it on the little polka dot. The last thing we're gonna do is stamp it again right here. Just the window here is all we're gonna need, okay? Just the window. Now this card design came from Chris, like I mentioned. The truck part, the little bow on the truck, if you are on Instagram and you follow Hammond and Penny, I've told you guys about her many times. She made a card this week with a bow tied around the truck, or last week. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in love, I have to make that. So they featured the stamp set on the account Stampin' Through the Catalog. If you guys haven't checked that out, you need to go follow them, Stampin' Through the Catalog. Each week, they feature two different stamp sets, and then they will share your pictures of your projects if you use their, if you, you know, tag them in it. It's really a great way to get ideas, and it's also fun to see your projects being shared. All right, so I cut out just the little window and I'm gonna adhere it right there. Okay, now more cutting. I know Donna's here. Donna gets mad when I, when I do too much fussy cutting. <laughs> she doesn't get mad. She's always like, oh goodness. And I know some of you probably say it and don't tell me. This time we're just cutting out the cab. And you know what? You don't have to do it like this. This is really the only piece you need. So this one, you don't even have to fussy cut. You could just color it, right? And that's it, be done. I just, you know, I like to have a lot of extra steps. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna put the cab there. Brand new bottle of liquid glue. Isn't it nice? It's no little gummy things at the top. It's not clogged. If only they could stay that way. All right, now again with the, with the box part of the truck, we're just gonna follow along those lines. Usually I tell you guys to leave a little white cloud around the outside edge. But when you're paper piecing, you wanna cut right on that black line because you're matching that line right here. And if you were to leave a cloud, it would look kind of weird. So just cut right in the center. Oh, oh, you guys, you didn't tell me. I forgot to tie the bow. Let's see, will it come off? Oh, it did. You forgot. Some of you were probably yelling, wait, wait. Still distracted by the cookies, Terry. This is white seam binding. We've had this white seam binding for a while. Um, I remember when I, I did a, um, I'm gonna set the block on that to hold it down while I tie the bow. I did a presentation in, hmm, maybe Las Vegas years ago. And it was when this was new and it's been a long time. So we've had this, this seam binding for a long time. I like it because one, it's white and it'll go with anything. And two, it's whisper thin. I mean, it's so light. It's not gonna bulk your cards up at all. So I'm tying the bow around the box of the truck, okay? Like that. I mean, how cute is that? It's like a, it's like a birthday present, but it's a truck. See, worth the extra effort. Now we'll stick it down. 
so cute. All right, let's stamp the little hearts. This stamp set has two things that you can um, stamp behind your truck, balloons and hearts. And of course I chose the hearts. And we're just gonna stamp that right there. Um, Stamparatus again will help you get that lined up. I don't know why I didn't just use the Stamparatus from the beginning. Now this little weird stamp, this little squiggle is like the shadow line. So you want to put that right underneath the tires. Okay. And then I have cut out, just like Melody did, a white tag. And it's probably missing now somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, here it is in the trash pile. This is from the hydrangea dies. The hydrangea dies were on sale in March. The bundle. Hopefully you got it because those are amazing dies. Um, otherwise, you could use a circle or you could use, I don't know, we probably have other tags and other, and other die sets. We need a little tiny punch with a tiny tag. That would be great. We probably had that before. All right, now I'm going to um, run this twine through here and tie it around the bow like, okay, come on, like this, okay? I mean, this is a pretty persnickety card. This is for somebody special. I'm not sure I'd wanna make a 100 of these. This is not a swap card. Or maybe, I don't know, some people like to make, I'm always, I'm always amazed when I get swaps to see what people have done for swap cards. Like amazed. Okay, so there we have the truck. He's done, he's super cute. I have cut out ahead of time two of these um, stitched scallop borders from our basic border dies. And I'm gonna adhere one below and one above. They are too long, I did that on purpose. Actually, the scrap that I cut was that size, and so I just left it. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. But I do like to make them a little bit longer so that you can make sure that they are, because if I don't, they're always too short. If I try to make it exactly, then it's too short. So there we go. Now, let's bring this back. We're gonna close it up like this, and you want to adhere it so that it's centered kind of in between these two pieces of DSP. So we're gonna adhere it to this top flap right here. Okay. And put that right there. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's stamp the sentiment and the heart. This one says, loving thoughts to guide you into your next adventure. Wishing you all the best. That's cute, right? For somebody who's moving, it's so cute. Or going to college, you know, somebody who's needs a moving van or something. A few little hearts and we're done. I love this fancy fold. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. And I think we're going to use it again in the future. All right, there you go, you guys. Project number two. Now, um, if you need to rewatch this without the doorbell ringing <laughs> and the dog barking, there will be, or there are, clean recordings. I still didn't see your, I, I asked you guys questions and then I don't look at your, um, your replies. The blog post is up, yes or no? I, I promise I'm gonna wait. Cause there's a delay. There's like a 10 or 12 second delay it feels like. And then I get distracted. 10 or 12 seconds during a Facebook Live is a long time. So tell, I'm sure someone has said it already and I just missed it. So tell me again, is the blog post up? Because the reason I ask, underneath um, each photo in the blog post, there is a link to a clean recording. Okay, Kimberly, thank you. Um, which means it's just a standalone YouTube video. So if you want to go back and watch it, 
Um, you don't have to weed through all the chit chat and all that. It's there, okay? Okay, and then the measurements, of course, are on the PDF. Last project, let me get a drink. I should have known when I spilled Diet Coke down my shirt today. Literally five seconds before I hit go live. That <laughs> today was going to be crazy. And you know what? The funny thing is, the more crazy and chaotic my videos are, the more views it gets. I don't know if that's a good thing <laughs> or people are sharing it saying, look at this idiot. <laughs> I'm hoping not. But anyways, whatever, I'll take it. All right, so next project is this little truck. Um, like I mentioned, I don't know if Brandy's here. Um, Brandy, we're, Brandy and I are Facebook friends. Brandy shares the funniest things that are on Facebook, hilarious things. And so she, I always say she and I have the exact same humor. She's so funny. But she um, shared a video, or not a video, a project early on, January, February, during celebration of a van little box like this. So when I was looking at the truck, thinking of what kind of 3D project I could do, that's what I came up with. I thought of her little van and I came up with my own. So inside, let me show you. Inside, I pulled out from my cabinet of mystery candy, you know, the candy that I just gather and hold on to, these little Tic Tacs. Um, these were at Dollar Tree and they come in a package of three or four, I think it's three. Um, it's not the teeny tiny little ones that only have two Tic Tacs, and it's not a full size Tic Tac. I tried to find them online and I could not find them. Um, so I don't know if those are, if these are exclusive to Dollar Tree, but they fit in there perfectly. And I didn't make the box for these. I made the box to fit the, the truck. So you can play around. I think two Hershey Nuggets will fit. Um, Maybe the, the more narrow Ghirardelli, you know, fill it up with M&Ms, whatever. Um, but that's what, the little Tic Tacs is what we're going to put in there today. All right, now we are going to use the Stamparatus. Let me show you the difference here. This was my original, and I stamped the truck twice. You can see right there how you can see the truck like that. But then there was nothing on the back. So when I was done, I thought, well, if we did mirror stamping instead then the truck would be on the back. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm not decorating the back just for the time's sake, but I think you probably would wanna decorate the back. Um, but I'll show you how to do that. Mirror stamping, you guys have been with me. We've done mirror stamping lots of times. Um, let's make our trucks first and then we'll make the box. We're gonna stamp, whoa. We're gonna stamp the truck. Where is the truck stamp? Did I put it back? I did. We're gonna stamp the truck um, regular, you know, like a regular stamp, twice. Again, paper piecing, I know, I'm sorry. I had to put pattern paper on all of my trucks. You can, of course, color it, do whatever you want. So we're just gonna stamp it regular style. All right, and photopolymers can be pretty sticky at first, and they can pull up your cardstock, so um, I always say stamp it a few times, clean it, stamp it again, clean it, you know, like tack it on your, <laughs> your yoga pants, you know, like get the sticky off and then put it on your stamparatus. Um, if you're, if you're having that problem, I know that's probably not the official solution for sticky stamps to, to tap them on your yoga pants, but it works. You know, like how you would de-sticky a sticker. Make sure you're stamp is clean or that your yoga pants are black. <laughs> if my yoga pants, my black yoga pants weren't black, they would tell a story. Now look, see what happened right here? This is why I love the Stamparatus because if you mess up, you can just lay it back down and fix it and it's perfect. All right, this time I'm using this paper. This is um, from the your biggest fan, the Hey Sports Fan DSP um, from the Spring Catalog. And this time again, um, just the back, and I think I have my magnet a little bit too close. We just need that back part. Okay, all right, so we have that and we have that. Now for mirror stamping, you wanna stamp it 
We're gonna stamp it on to the silicone sheet. You can see my turtles from, I must have used stays on because they didn't come off. Um, but I can see the truck too from last time. So let's turn it this way. Um, hmm, which is the cleanest side? It's my, okay. You can take this and clean it, you know, with Dawn or whatever, but of course I didn't do that. Um, what am I trying, what am I trying to tell you? So we're going to stamp it on the silicone sheet and then we're going to lay the paper down on it to get like that impression and it'll be backwards. The truck will be facing, it'll be like a mirror image. Okay. So real quick, lay that down like that carefully pick it up and now we have one truck facing one way and one truck facing the other way if you're going to do the the dsp on the back side you want to do it again and lay your dsp down so that you have that flipped as well but we're just going to do the one side because you know what i want to go eat my cookies no i <laughs> just kidding just kidding all right, so we'll do this real quick today. Again, how many times have I cut this this uh, out? We're gonna just stay in the line. Do, 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 da, da, da. I hope you guys have, I know some of you are not having spring weather and I'm sorry, I apologize. That stinks when it's snowing and you're like done with winter. I don't know what that's like, but I do know what it's like when summer, and we still have summer in November. So hot, hot, hot in November. So I can sympathize. It's been beautiful here, um, but it's gonna turn hot, hot, hot soon. We're gonna be in the 90s next week, which is like the beginning of the hot, hot, hot season. Um, but it's also lake weather, so that's good. This time I'm using Poppy Parade. Um, we is this weekend we're probably going to go to the lake hopefully but it's also my 15 year old her birthday was wednesday and she wants to have her best friend over she didn't want to have a big party or anything she's um she just you know her best friend she want to come over hang over spend the night and i was like of course that's totally easy you know like i'm off the hook but i don't know if she's going to want to be entertained or i don't know what's going on with this marker I may be running dry. Um, or if they want to just go up into her room and close the door and not have to see me at all. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm cool with that. <laughs> um, she, um, she's, she's our easy kid. She's, she's really easy. Here's another funny story. I'm taking my dark, you guys, and I'm going to outline that door to give a little bit of extra kind of dimension there with the color. My youngest, you guys, I've told you about her. She is my sporty spice girl. She has grown up with boy best friends. Here in our cul-de-sac, it's all boys and her, her age. So she has been sporty, sport. I mean, from the time she was tiny. Out there, football, scooters, um, dirt bikes, you know, all the boy stuff. Well, um, she has always wanted to play football and I, I'm sorry, but that's a hard no for me, like real football. And she says she's super good at football. The boys all tell her she's good. I'm like, too bad. So she took up basketball, you know, basketball's her thing. Well, we joined club basketball, um, which you guys have heard me complaining about because hello, it's a lot of money and a lot of time, but whatever. That's her one thing. Okay, fine. So this week at school, she said they had, um, I just did the window and pool party. You can leave it white too if you want. So this week at school, middle school, she's seventh grade, they had soccer tryouts. Now soccer is not a sport we have played. Soccer, uh, my middle child played soccer when she was three, kind of, <laughs> and then cried most of the time. So that's our extent of soccer, right? So, but this is my third child, not that child. Um, but she decides she's going to try out for soccer. Her, all her best friends are club soccer players. And if you have kids in athletics, you know that club sports kids play really good, right? Like here at our school, especially, if you want to make the team, you, you really have to have been playing in club sports. So I, she wants to try out for 
soccer. And I'm like, sure, go for it, you know, whatever. And I'm sure you guys can see where this is going, right? Um, we've, already, we've always had a rule here that the kids could play one sport at a time. When we have three kids, we couldn't handle more than that, right? Well, Addie is just bound and determined. We say she's going to either be a lawyer, <laughs> Yale or jail, <laughs> because what Addie wants, she will make happen. I mean, she will make it happen. Well, guess who made the soccer team? Addie. Never played soccer a day in her life. Not a day in her life. And she even, her best friend is a club soccer kid. And she said, before trial, she said, I don't have any cleats, but Brooklyn said she'd bring me some cleats. And I said, oh, okay, good. Well, do you guys wear the same size? And she was like, oh, well, I don't know. I better ask. <laughs> I mean, this is how prepared we were for soccer tryouts. So I don't know if it was slim pickings this year <laughs> or if all that time out there with the boys um, playing football helped her. She's She said she is going to be the goalie. So I don't know anything about soccer other than I have to sit out there in the hot sun watching a game I don't understand. Do I have soccer moms on here? Because I'm sure you guys could give me some, <laughs> like tennis. You know, my other two played tennis, and I don't understand tennis. I, for years now, I've been trying to understand tennis, and I don't understand it. I feel like that's how soccer's going to be. All right. I got you through cutting that. See how we have two opposite trucks? Now, the box is just a really small piece of cardstock. Um it's lots of running Heidi. See, that's why I would have nothing to do with soccer. And that's what I thought because she, she doesn't like to run. Um, but um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She, you know, sometimes I think coaches can just see that a kid is an athlete and is going to work hard no matter what. And I think that's probably her. Um, she said she didn't know how to do anything, but that she could block the ball going into the goal. So and the coaches know her from the other team. So I thought, oh, well, okay, maybe. But we laughed and laughed and laughed when she came home yesterday and said she had made the team. And then we started to panic because, great, now we have two sports. And crazy town. Okay, sorry. I know. I'm, I'm talking about my kids too much. <laughs> three and three fourths by five. And you want to use the thick white here, okay? Um, we're going to score the long side at one and a half, two and a fourth, three and three fourths, and four and a half. The short side at three-fourths and three. And if you're that person who always gives me a comment that you don't want to hear about my kids, you don't have to leave me that comment. I know. That's fine. You don't have to watch my video either if I'm talking about my kids. So, you know. <laughs> I know when I watch Facebook Live, I like to hear people, you know, I like to hear what's going on in their life. I think it makes Facebook Live more interesting than just watching a recorded video. You kind of get to know the person a little bit, right? All right, so I've burnished all those lines. On this end, we have a skinny section, two skinny sections, but this one is skinnier than that one. You want to cut off first those um, squares, okay? You guys always come to my defense. Thank you. I know. You're so sweet. It's the people who don't like my kids who aren't saying anything right now. <laughs> Soccer is easy. And tennis, God, Jenny, I wish I could learn tennis. I have been watching my daughters play tennis for 10 years, and I still never know when to cheer. I mean, I'm still like, yeah, yay? I don't know. I never know when to cheer. And then I hear those parents like, man, they know exactly what's going on. They're yelling. They're cheering. And I'm like, mm, yay? Was that good? Was that, was that our point? Well, I, I don't know. I, I think if I took lessons, then maybe I would I would understand it better. But at this point, we only have three years of tennis left. So, <laughs> all right, this middle tab right here, I'm cutting at an angle. That's really the only one you need to do at an angle. Um, just cut that like that. And then down here, these tabs right here, this is what's going to tuck into your box. That's these three tabs right here, okay? So we want to make these two look like this one. So just cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be tucked in. And then you want to cut the corners off of those three tabs. That's going to help them go into the box a little bit better. Okay. Let me try.
trim that one up a little bit. All right, so now here's what your box, this is a really easy box, you guys, really easy. You're gonna take these two little tabs right here and just adhere them up into either side, it doesn't really matter. Probably that side is better because now you're gonna take, let's do, let's do regular adhesive so we don't have to wait for it to dry. You're gonna put stamp and seal plus or stamp and seal or tear and tape or whatever on the inside of those two and then you just fold that up like that and there's your little tiny box I mean that's all it is just a little tiny box with a little tiny lid at the top okay let's put our tic tacs in there like that Mm, okay, let's try it again, like that. There we go. Well, go back in, come on. Everybody behave, be cool, be cool, come on. There we go. It's not staying closed, there we go, is it? <laughs> I don't know. That's why we have this. If it won't stay closed, we'll, we'll force it to stay closed with this elegant trim, silver. And the hardest part is keeping the box still while you tie your bow around the edge very carefully there we go now nothing is going to pop out all right now just turn these guys over and i'm going to put a little bit of stamp and seal right there and i'm going to put that right in the middle of my truck okay put a little bit of stamp and seal there and then this time now it's boring, I know, I'm just leaving it that way. You can decorate yours. Then I'm gonna just kind of make sure that they are mostly even like this. If I can keep that bow out of the way. Like that, there we go. There we go, how cute. Little boys would like that, wouldn't they? We can drive it around. Party favor, how fun would that be? Little party favor. Now we're gonna use the sentiment say, that says birthday wishes, but you know, if it's a party favor, put thank you or I don't know, something else. All right, we're gonna stamp this in Poppy Parade. And again, I'm not gonna mask off. I'm just gonna be real careful and only ink up the first line. And we're gonna stamp that. Let's stamp it right there at the top. <laughs> stamp it right at the top like that. Sticky stamps, I'll tell you. And then we're just gonna trim it down and we're gonna grab my favorite retiring punch tailored tag punch and I'm just gonna make a banner you could use the pick a banner punch that we used earlier but this one I like because I can see where I'm going I can see how far in I'm going kind of gives me a little bit more control um then we have a star we're almost done oh my gosh I'm going so late today um my husband's probably texting me what do you want for dinner what do you want me to pick up hello hello Poppy braid, stitched star, dimensional, banner, done. Ta-da, what do you guys think? So cute. Brandy, thank you for the idea. All right, there we have it. We are done, only 20 minutes late today. <laughs> it's a circus. All right, so what do you guys think? You have some ideas? I have two other projects to show you next week. This one, look. It uses the Give It A Whirl dies. You guys have been asking me to use this. I know, I need to use it more. Look how cute. That'll be on the blog on Monday. And then this one, look, it's a shaker with just lots of little die cut pieces and those shaker shapes. It's so cute using that same paper. Man, I tell you, I'm gonna miss that paper. All right, so before you go, let's review. Uh, we made the fun fold card, we made the birthday card, and we made the truck. If you would like these projects, 
make and takes for free. Make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight using this host code. Um, and I will mail them to you next week um, on Wednesday. All right, did I miss anything? Just trucking along, Terry. Yep. <laughs> Brandy, thanks for joining me today. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Cutest Tic Tacs you've ever seen. Thank you, Carla. Hopefully you guys can find those. You know, Dollar Tree is no longer the Dollar Tree. It's like the Dollar 25 tree or something. So I haven't been there in a while. And those Tic Tacs are from, you know, my junk drawer of old candy. Um, but again, you can fit other things in there if you if you want. All right, you guys have a great weekend. Next week, oh, next week. Friday is Good Friday and my kids will be home. I think I'm going to do Facebook Friday on Thursday. Uh, my car is going to the shop on Thursday to fix the radio. Another long story. But I think I can squeeze that in before I have to go pick it up. So let's plan on Thursday next week instead of Friday. Okay, and next week is the Home and Garden bundle. I have actually made a ton of things with that bundle because it's so cute. And I can't wait to show you guys. All right, have a great weekend, you guys. Be safe and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.